And they call it Convo Magic. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. Ohio wins it over the rival Miami Red Hawks, 82-75 to on Saturday. Goodness, Ohio was down by 15 at halftime, down by 18, and they scratched and clawed, went on a big run, and the Cats win it going away for their 101st all-time win over the boys in red and white from Southwest Ohio. Yeah, big run, 22-5, to middle of the second half. Ohio really started to shut down Miami, played the defensive half. They wanted to play for about a week and a half now, but did it. Second half, holding Miami down, stopping the threes, only giving up one in the second half. We didn't expect to hear the winning team, losing team chant at the end of the ball game, but, man, it sounded good. And it really looked good for Travis Wilkins. What a ball game he had. 24 points today. That's a career high. 23, I'm sorry, a career high. And Nick Kellogg had 27. Yeah, career night, half dozen threes for Big Trav. And Nick had his career high as well. But both those guys, Nick kept Ohio in this game, got critical twos and threes at critical times. And Travis Wilkins beat single coverage and sometimes no coverage in that zone, hit his open looks, and put Miami on their heels early second And half. there was linkage there between the offensive and defensive ends. And you don't claw all the way back unless you get stops, and Ohio most certainly did. Well, they got stops, forced some turnovers, it really just got a bunch of stops. They were about a nine-minute span, second half, held Miami to just one field goal in that eight or nine-minute span, and that's what really powered Ohio through that 22-5 run and on to win this match game. This is one where you just kind of gaze off into the distance, you just kind of remember all the highlights, and then you, you shake your head, and then you smile, and you know that Ohio won it. Yep, another game with another 25 or 30 point swing, but somehow Ohio wins it, and we're here, and we're on the road. Here's how it looked and sounded at the Roundhouse on Richland. With strong use of the backside by Quentin Rollins to secure the pumpkin. Comes into the front court now, foul line beneath the line, high banker no good. Rebound reeled in by Endor, but he lost the ball. McKnight got it back, pitch over to Felder, who dunks it with two hands. Wilkins at the point, looks inside, gets it to Endor at the foul line, right back to Trav, bounce pass corner right. Kellogg steps back, shoots a long two, and it rimmed out, but back in. Taylor back to the right side, Hall for Ohio. Wilkins draws a double team. They race him around the perimeter. He stops, throws it into the post. Endor knocked it down with the right hand, saves it with his left baseline right to Hall. Right back to Maurice, didn't fire. Wilkins wide open from here to the Ozarks, and he bangs the three down. Drive. Left side, Sullivan back to McKnight at the point. Works over to the right side and stops. They set up a screen for Sullivan, left wing for three, and he banged it down. Everything they're throwing up. Kellogg drives baseline right, right hand flyer no good off the right iron, rebound down to the floor, Ohio had nobody there, Eustace got it, but Kellogg didn't give up on the play, high on the right side, back to the left, Taylor up to the point, left side, Wilkins for three, bang, 45-30, Ohio down by 15 again, 134 to go for the first half. This team has nine wins, they're five and four in the Mid-American Conference. They scored 14 points in the second half against NIU the other night. Into the paint with contact, Edwards missed the shot, ball deflected, got it back, hands it off now for a lay-in, low on the right side. Back tap on the rebound, reeled in by Willis. Here comes Ohio, middle of the floor. Kellogg on the right side for three, got it. 54-41, Willis right sideline beyond the arc. Stabs with the right foot, crossover dribble into the paint, handoff Endor, goes in, banked it in, low on the right side. Ohio's down 10, 55-45. At the top now, it's Taylor. Behind a screen from Setti on the right side angle. Baseline right end door, right back out, Taylor. Over to the left wing, Wilkins for three. Yes. Man, he's been clutch in the second half. Here comes Ohio. They can lead with a made bucket on this trip. It is Taylor. Baseline left, Smith for a shot and the lead. Ohio leads. Smith to Kellogg, dribble handoff now to Taylor, comes around to the right side, pitch back to Smith at the top, lob into the post end door, catches, waits, goes up, dunks it with two hands! He rocked that rim in traffic. 13, now 12 on the shot clock. High on the right side, it's Taylor. Ohio's up three. Nine and eight at the point. Back to the left side. In front of the arc now. Drives all the way in deep four. Now three. Now two. Underneath. Pitch to Smith. Goes up. Go! Oh, he dumped it. Pounded and a foul at the shot clock buzzer. Oh, my goodness. And Ohio's going to win as they stand and cheer here at the Convocation Center. Off of the inbound, they get it to Edwards. It goes through his hands and into the backcourt, and Ohio wins the game. Paint this one green and white in amazing fashion. Ohio comes all the way back to win. So now Ohio got the win that they needed over their rival, and it's on the road for a tough Mac two-step starting off in the Glass City on Wednesday night as Ohio looks to take down and sweep the Rocket Men of Toledo. Yep, and you know, a team they took down here in this building on paper, probably the most talented in this league, four legit scoring options. Ohio controlled them here. Can they do it again on the road? That's been a tough building for Ohio in the last five years. 17 wins on the year now, seven and ten tries in Mid-American Conference play. Uh, if you lost this ballgame, you start thinking, well, 
You know, where is this team going to go? Uh, but this team, again, showed the, the bright spots in the second half that we all hoped that we would see. That's a championship effort there by a team that a lot of people feel can win this league. No, certainly can. Certainly belongs in discussion for the top four. The top four mean buys or multiple buys into Cleveland. That's what this team needs going into March. You went without the jacket today. I went tieless today. Maybe it's a trend. And we should have gone with the uh, green turtle yeah. for Charlie Coles today, of course. Yeah, we certainly remember Charlie Coles, and, and he's a Miami guy, no question about it. Charlie, uh, who passed away this past summer, longtime head coach at Miami, and, and a real champion of all things great, not only college basketball, but sports and life in general. And I know he's looking down on it today saying, nah, that ozone was jumping, and that was a special one between the red and white and the green and white. Yeah, good turn back the clock days. Remember, buddy Charlie, as we see our friend Brandon Hunter, and the Cats beat the Red Hawks, which is always how it should be. We could go on and dissect this ball game for an hour or more, but you want to get done and uh, go on to celebrate or whatever it is that you're going to do tonight, tomorrow, and uh, going into Wednesday. So we'll put the wraps on this one. Ohio wins at 82 to 75 over the Miami Red Hawks for Tanner Smith and the Bobcat TV crew. And for Rob C., I'm Russ Eisenstein. Good night from the Convocation Center. This is Bobcat TV.